Well, this is my chip tune stroke number station transmitter that I've recently been building. Uh, it's taken about a week to plan and write the code and uh, assemble. And it's really good actually. It was inspired by a video that I saw about a guy who built his own um, pirate radio transmitter, uh, worked off an old um, cassette player, and he was able to hide it in the mountains and through a bit of clockwork genius was able to um, switch the transmitter on and off to save power. So I thought that's a really good idea and uh, I'll do something very similar. <coughs> you can um, the, you can Google Raspberry Pi FM transmitters and you'll be greeted with so many easy uh, builds. But I wanted to do something a little different. So I've actually got a mi BBC Microbit in here, sort of seeing what it can do. Um, and I'm using the Microbit to activate that modified FM transmitter that... Um, I posted about previously and it's all housed in this nice little um, box with a with a with a switch on the front there um, the range is pretty good actually it's yeah it's not bad and uh, I'm just amazed that uh, it's all come together uh, and nicely packaged I'm a firm believer in you know no matter how complex or uh, complicated or even easy your project is if it's not housed in something that's nice then um, I think it, it gets overlooked slightly so I'm, I'm I'm trying to make the effort of putting my projects in better housing to, to finish them off so without further ado here's how I made it right this is the basics of the microbit pirate radio we have our microbit here Okay, and it's using a uh, transistor switch here, which will activate the transmitter. I've modified it, so you can see my previous uh, attempts at modifying these in-car FM transmitters. And it also outputs to the, um, to the audio input of the transmitter as well. So if we turn it on, okay and we'll turn the radio on it will um, boot to a schedule and the schedule is determined by uh, a counter on the micro bit and once that counter is reached it will start to activate the transmitter so let's just see here we go and we're broadcasting on 107.3 and here we have our radio if I turn up We have our chip tunes, and we can broadcast for a bit. Uh, and in order to save battery on the transmitter, we can turn it off. Simple as. So we can activate the transmitter and deactivate it to a set time, which is really good. Um, took me about half an hour to make, and uh, yeah, it's coming on nicely. So here it is. I found an old case. Uh, that I used from previous projects. It's got a few holes in, but we can cover that up. I've installed a switch, and it, which powers the micro bit there, and it's all sort of fitting in quite nicely. I always find it's always a tight squeeze. I can never find the right case for the right job, but um, in this case, I think I'm going to get away with it. So here I am, out in the middle of nowhere, where I usually test my things. Um, it ensures that I'm out of range of anyone and anything it might disrupt. Um, I only brought one phone out, so I need the other phone with the radio on to do any decent filming with it. But um, yeah, I switched it on, left it here, went for a walk, and I actually got uh, quite a way down that track, okay? Um, but you can watch uh, previous videos on uh, 
modifier in the transmitter that's in it and you, you get the idea basically so yeah successful um, successful test I think so next thing I'd quite like to build like an audio input so rather than just the chip tunes and the basic text-to-speech that the micro bit generates um, I'd like to have an audio in feed and so we can feed it anything from you know mp3s or, or, or whatever so yeah that's my next step and uh, yeah thanks for watching stay tuned bye bye